Thanks for joining us today. I'm going to quickly go over how to create and deploy deals. So when you log into your business portal here, you're just going to click on the deals tab on this left side menu. And of course, we haven't created any deals yet. So let's go ahead and click add a deal on the top right corner. And we're going to today for our example, assume that this is a restaurant. Um, so with that in mind, uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is name the deal. So uh, using our restaurant example, let's say, for example, we wanted to uh, offer a free appetizer for this restaurant. So you'd put that in the title or whatever uh, title you want this deal to take on. Uh, then you can define a start and end date for your deal to be live if you wish to do that. It's completely optional. If you leave these blank, it will uh, the deal will continue to be live until you've gone ahead and deleted it. So for our purposes today, let's go ahead and define a start date of April 1st to April 30th so that this deal is live for a month. The next thing you can choose to do is uh, set an expiration date after a, a customer has gone in and earned this deal. So you can have it never expire or select a number of months from this drop down menu uh, for the deal to expire after the customer's redeemed it. So I'm going to leave this on never expires for the time being. Uh, the next field here is this redirect URL. So after a customer has entered their email address to earn the deal, uh, they'll either, if you leave this blank, they will stay on that deals page and they'll just get a notification that says their deal has been emailed to them. Or you can have this redirect to another URL after they've submitted the form to earn that deal. So if, for example, you wanted the customer to go back to your business's homepage uh, or home website page, you would just type in your website URL here and it would direct them to that uh, website after they've um, submitted to earn that deal. Next thing you're going to want to do is upload a cover and logo image. So uh, I already have one created for this particular deal. So you'll just want to go ahead and choose a file. We recommend a thousand pixels wide. So choose a file from your computer uh, for a banner image and you'll see what that looks like in a minute. And same for the logo, you'll want to upload a square logo uh, here as well. So I'll go ahead and upload this logo that I have for this restaurant example. And Finally, um, or next, I guess I should say, is this Facebook image drop down menu. So you have two different uh, options here. One is a logo, one is a cover. What that means is that when you share this deal on Facebook, uh, it's going to display, if you have logo selected, it's going to have, it's going to display the logo uh, that you've uploaded here uh, when you share it on Facebook. And if you select cover, it's going to display the cover image that you upload here. So I'm going to leave it on logo for the time being. And finally, and very importantly, you're going to want to add a description for the deal. So uh, I'm going to put for a limited time only, get a free appetizer, simply enter your email address, and we'll email you a free appetizer voucher. So let's go ahead and after we filled out all of these fields and uploaded our images, click save. And you'll be taken back to... Uh, this page here. So we're on the deals page and you'll see we have our free appetizer uh, here with two URLs and you can always edit it if you want to edit any of the information that we put in or delete it. Now what these URLs are uh, is very simply the public URL is what you can share uh, the deal anywhere that you'd like um, easily and quickly. Uh, you can link this URL to your website. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So here's your deal. Um, this is, again, the public URL. So you'll see we have our banner image that I uploaded here. We have the profile or logo image that I uploaded here, the title, free appetizer, the description here. And we build this piece for you. So the customer is prompted to put in their email address here uh, in order to earn this deal. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Um, I'm going to have this emailed to me and click submit. And you'll see, again, if you remember, we didn't put a redirect URL on this deal. And so we stayed on this page and the, e the uh, deal is, it just notifies the customer that their deal has been emailed to them. So let's go over to my email now and take a look at what that looks like. You'll see this is what it looks like here. It's going to have... Um, a the restaurant deal uh, available here so when we click on it uh, the customer is then prompted to uh, redeem their deal by clicking on this link so 
there is another message that appears here so they can still click this and view it before they actually redeem it so what it looks like when they click on this link they're going to say it's going to say free appetizer once you click redeem you'll have five minutes to present this to the business so they're going to want to take this in their email in click on the link and when they're ready to redeem this free appetizer deal uh, they will or uh, one of your uh, employees will click redeem and a five minute counter is going to go off uh, giving the customer five minutes to present this deal to redeem their free appetizer deal to the business once this counter expires the deal is no longer available to them so they will not be able to redeem this deal again so that is how the deal thing uh, all works out um, let's go back and take a look at the Facebook URL now this Facebook URL, you'll see when I click through on it, is exactly the same as the public URL. But what you want to do is if you share this deal on Facebook, for example, and I'll show you what that looks like, is you're just going to want to copy and uh, copy this URL up here. Go back to your, ad, to your uh, business portal here, and you'll go to your social media tab. And if, for example, you wanted to uh, post a custom post uh, with a link, you can say um, check out this month's deal or whatever you want to uh, type in here and you'll put in the uh, URL that we just copy and pasted again this is the Facebook link right so uh, we're gonna select the Facebook page so I'm gonna have it go here I'll click post and you'll see if you recall again we selected the logo image to display and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like when you uh, decide to do your banner so it'll tell you your post is posted go back to your business page and when we refresh that you will see that our deal has been posted it's been shared publicly and it says check out this month's deal that's our custom message and here's the logo that we put along with it so let's quickly go back and take a look at what happens when we edit the deal and have the banner image display instead of the logo so we're gonna go ahead and click edit here and actually, while we're at it, why don't we have um, a redirect URL as well? So let's do, let's just have it go to Google. Um, and we're going to change this Facebook image to a cover image. We're going to click Save. And now when we click on the Facebook URL, it's going to be the same, obviously, here. Um, I'm going to submit an email address. Um, oh. Actually, this is good that I've done this. So it says that you've already redeemed the deal, which is great. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put in a test email address here. And you'll see when I click submit, uh, now instead of staying on this page because we had the redirect URL go to Google, when I hit submit, it's going to redirect that customer to whatever that redirect URL is. So again, I put in Google, so it redirects them here. But of course, if you want them to go to your businesses website you would put that URL here so uh, we've gone ahead we've done that so let's go ahead and now share this URL on Facebook so you can see again if you recall we changed the image to display from the logo to the banner image so we're going to go back to custom post we're going to type in our custom message whatever it is that you want we're going to paste that URL we're going to make sure that it's going to our Facebook page we're going to click post um, and go back to our Facebook page, refresh it, and you'll see now that um, the banner image that we uploaded the first time is available here or, and uh, instead of the logo. So this was the first one when we had it uh, selected to logo to display, and this is the banner image. And so you'll see when we click through that it takes the customer to that deal page. So this is a really awesome tool for you you can uh, if you go back to your deals uh, tab here for example you can copy and paste this public URL anywhere that you want uh, on Twitter if you have an email list for example you can email your customers this deal this will encourage them to earn you know redeem this deal and come in and redeem it at your establishment uh, you can even have a link from your website to this deals page if you'd like to do that and change out the deal once a month or however often uh, you'd like to do that now you may be wondering where those email addresses that entered uh, to earn this deal ended up and they actually end up right in your deals panel here uh, right here under the deals column 
you'll see the number two. And that's because, as you might recall, I entered two different email addresses in there. And so it's as easy as clicking export to get those email addresses. And they export nicely into an Excel document that then you can use to copy those emails into an email marketing platform if you have one, or just into your regular email account so that you can uh, email them and market to them via email moving forward. So that's valuable data that you get when you use this, uh, when you leverage this deals um, tool here, uh, you get your customers' email addresses.